welcome to yet another episode from Tablet Tarzan. Now in this one we are going to continue from what we left at in the part one of this video. Um, you, if you recollect this is where we, we stopped. We put all the charts in but we haven't ha added the action yet. We haven't had, had the action yet where you know if you click on one of them it should ideally show me where that particular uh, drink is within the calorie bar chart right so that's what we will start with and then uh, following that we will do the beautification of this where we'll add the colors we'll change the uh, the sizings of it make it look more beautiful make it look more elegant and uh, then that we'll end it with uploading it in tableau public or so right so let's start without any delay so the way i would have to go like now i want that the uh, if i click on any drink within beverage prep right it should it should highlight over here right in cal calorie bar chart that's what i want to do so and the one which is not in is not selected will be in a different color right i uh, i would prefer that the one which is selected is in the starbucks green and which is not selected is in the uh, gray Right, so let's see how we do that. Now I need, so so to put it again, I want one thing in a color, right? Whatever is selected to should be in a color and whatever is not selected should, be, should not be in the color, right? So let's see how I can do that. Now to do that, um, let's see if I put a, a beverage in color, what happens? If I put beverage in color, it just, it puts it, gives me or gives all of them in color right but i don't want this i don't want all of them to be in color i just want the combination to be in color so whichever uh, is chosen only that is in color so let me see maybe if i do this no even this also doesn't give me what i want right this also doesn't give me what i want so what will i do instead i will need one thing where uh, only the thing that is selected Right, only the thing that is selected is in uh, is in is in color, and it's not. So for that, I'll have to create something called a set. Right. So for those uh, who are not aware, set is basically like you're saying. Um, it, it's a dynamic filter. It's a dynamic filter. I'll show you how this looks. Right now, everything is. I've put uh, this beverage prep set in color. Right, and I'll say edit colors. Let me put, let me give it the Starbucks green. Let me give, just give it dark green for now. I'm selecting this. I'm selecting this. Apply. Okay. I've got some green. We'll, we'll see later. Now, does this do anything to me if I select this? No, it's still not doing anything to me. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to go to dashboard and I'll have to say action. What is the action? I want that when um, um, when anything from this beverage prep is selected, the calorie bar chart is changed. So, which means what? Which means I want the set values to be changed. So, let me add action and in this I'll say change set values. So, change set values does exactly that. And I'll say beverage uh, prep set action. All right. Yeah, I And... Uh, what will I say? The target set. The target set is what it is. My beverage prep set. Then and what is my source sheet? My source sheet is the uh, only beverage prep. Everything else I have to unselect. So let me unselect all of them. This alone is a, is an issue where uh, uh, you know I have to multi. There, there's no simple select thing. Uh, so you have beverage prep. And what does clearing the selection will do? It should remove all the values from set. Running the action will assign values to set. Right. So let's say, okay, let's see what this does. And I'll say, okay. So now if I click on this, yeah, there is it. That This is what we wanted. So tall non-fat milk is showing me all the places where the tall non-fat milk is there. And if I click uh, here, it's again showing me all non-fat milk. Venti, this is again showing all venti non-fat milk. But this is also not what I wanted. Let me click on uh, uh, caramel. Yeah, this is also not what I wanted. So then, um, now what it is doing, it is taking it from here, beverage prep, and then 
and based on wherever the beverage prep is there it is highlighting them but i don't want that i want coffee and non fat milk combination should should only that should so only coffee and uh, tall non fat only this should show right so let me go back let me go back to where this chart is so for that i am going here and i am clicking this icon to go back to this so now what did i put i put i put beverage set uh, prep in the set i i shouldn't have done that what i should have instead done because i want a combination i should put beverage combo in the, in this so i'm saying create set and i'll say use all okay and this goes in color again i'll change the color to the uh, green let's put this okay so let's see and then i'm going back to dashboard and now i'm saying that hey uh go to dashboard actions now i do not want this right i don't want this i want it to change the beverage combo set and not the beverage prep set right so the beverage combo set and uh, yes the source sheet will still be the beverage prep sheet assign values remove all values from it missing field from beverage prep yeah so now it says missing field from beverage in the beverage prep uh, sheet i don't have beverage combo is what it is it is telling me so what will i do i'm i'm purposefully making this mistake so that you understand that uh, you know what all are the mistake that we that could go go wrong so i'm putting beverage combo here and um, the beverage combo goes beverage prep beverage combo no 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 yeah there is a beverage combo and and i'm seeing show header so now it is not showing me where is that beverage combo but it is still there yes it is still there so i'll go back to dashboard dashboard actions beverage prep set edit right now now that error thing error message is not there anymore right and i'll call this get beverage combo set action okay so beverage prep set and it's going to beverage combo set okay so let's see if this works so if i'm clicking coffee exactly this is what i wanted non fat yeah this is what i wanted right now let's see if uh, if i click caramel am i getting yeah i'm getting all the all the ones where caramel is there all the ones where coffee is there right so this is this is exactly what we wanted and if i select click that again it shows me all coffee i have only three uh, just one so ah, no, this this is a much better looking one so oh, there are too many things here um so for this i'll say fit and just fit width not fit height so then this is so here also i'll say fit width and not fit height right this is good this is good great now that this is done let's do the uh cleaning of this we will do the beautification and cleaning of it i hope you understand how how we made the uh the selection part again right i'm clicking tall hey what happened ha ah, now it's here i see so if i clicked a cafe americano tall you're not seeing it here but if i scroll down cafe americano tall it's here so uh, because it's not uh very visible that's why we are not able to see otherwise yeah see this is green that's how it is cool and uh, when you're latte 2% milk right it's right here so that's how this is great all right so now uh, let me stop here right and in the next video we'll do a full fledged of all the beautification all the beautification will be done in one go uh because right now in this one we have shown a very important concept of how to do the action set sets and actions right so let me stop there thank you for watching this have a great day see you in the next video